Hello students, let us see this problem from CSIR NET 2023. The question ID is 705066. So I have redrawn the circuit so that you can familiarize. So this is basically a voltage multiplier circuit is given. And the input voltage here is from whose peak value is given plus in V input so minus V input. And they're asking what is the V output here. Okay, so let us say this capacitor is C1. This is C2, this is C3 and C4. Say so this capacitor is your, this diode is D1, this is D2, D3, and this is your D4, okay? Now, I will start with a uh, first negative cycle, okay? So, so negative cycle, first negative cycle. So first negative cycle, this will be your plus, this will be minus. So this capacitor will charge through this diode, okay? Now peak value is given V input and this diode knee voltage is 0 0.7 volt. Okay, so the drop, so here will be drop a, a drop 0 0.7 volts. Okay, so if I apply KVL in this loop, so I can I can find what is the voltage across the capacitor C1, say call it this is VC1 plus minus. So now let me apply the KVL. So this will be your minus V input plus VD1 and plus vc1 equals to zero and this gives me vc1 okay so this will be gives me vc1 equals to v input minus vd1 that is vd1 value is 0 0.7 so this gives me v input minus 0 0.7 okay your vc1 value is v input minus 0 0.7 okay so let me write here this is v input minus 0 0.7 and you have to remember the polarity, okay? In positive first cycle, you have to remember diode D1 and D3 in R in forward bias. So the diode D1, D3 are forward bias, while your diode D2 and D4 are reverse bias, okay? So now let me write for second second first positive cycle. So now for first positive cycle, what happens? So when you apply positive cycle now, what will happen? Your D1 and D3 will become reverse bias. Okay, D1 and D3 will be your reverse bias. Okay, and your D2 and D4 will become forward bias. Okay, now your loop will be this this diode will this capacitor will charge through this diode okay so again if i write the kvl in this loop okay so this will be 0 0.7 volt okay and now i'm writing a positive cycle this will be positive this will be negative so i will be having minus v input peak value minus v input this is minus vc1 okay this will be plus vd2 and it will charge like this so this will be plus VC2. So this gives me VC2, VC2 equals to V input, V input, V input is your V, in, uh, v input is your V input, VC1 plus VC1. VC1 is your V input minus 0 0.7 and minus VD2 this is also 0 0.7. So this gives me two V input minus 1.4 volts, okay? So this capacitor C2, okay? This capacitor C2 will charge here plus minus two V input minus 1.7 volt, okay? Now let me say uh, again for next negative cycle, okay? For next next negative cycle negative cycle again your d1 and d2 will be in forward bias and your d2 and uh, d2 d1 and d3 and d2 and d4 okay that will be in reverse bias so now this time you are D1 and D3 for forward by this is forward by this is forward by so this is 0 0.7 this is minus 0 0.7 and this is your KVL okay this is your loop I have to apply KVL here so I want to find now what is VC3 okay 
So let me write the cable in this loop. So here you have VD1, okay? Because now for negative cycle, your capacitor will, this capacitor will charge through this diode. Okay, so this will be plus, this will be minus. So this is VD, VD, VD1 minus VC3, okay? Minus VD3, minus VD3, and then you have here plus VC2 equals to zero. And this gives me VC3 equals to minus VC2. Minus VC2 means this is, min this is VC2, okay? VC2 is two V input, V input minus one by one, one by four. So this gives me, now this gives me my VC3. So VC3 will be VD1, this is 0 0.7 and VD3, VD3 minus 0 0.7. And your VC2, VC2 is your two V input minus 1.4, okay? This cancel out. So VC3 comes out to V input minus 1.4, okay? So now the voltage across this capacitor will be two V input minus 1.4, okay? So similarly now I can see what happens in next positive cycle, okay? So next positive cycle, let us calculate for next positive cycle, what happens next positive cycle, next positive cycle now your c4 will conduct or charge through diode d4 okay and now you can take this time we can take this loop because your d2 will be conducting now d2 and d4 in forward bias and d1 and d3 will be in reverse bias Okay, so let us calculate now the what is the voltage across C4 that is VC2. Okay, so if I take this loop, okay, these, these are opens, okay, D, these are open, okay, D3 is open and D1 is open. So if I take this loop, I can find what is my VC4 here. So VC4, so say this is minus VD2 minus vd2 okay and i have a minus vc3 minus vc3 and again i have a plus this is vd4 and here i have a vc4 equals to zero okay now if i calculate this vc4 okay so this VD2, VD3, VD4 cancels out, okay? And my VC4 will be simply my equal to my VC3, that is 2V input minus 1.4 volts, okay? So now I can write here VC4 value. So this is 2V input minus 1.7. And this is also 2V input minus 1.7 volts, okay? Now in the question, they're asking, what is the V output? This, the voltage at this terminal, okay? With respect to ground, with respect to ground, okay? So if I say my V output, so my V output will be is equal to, this will be add, so this 4V input minus 2.8 volts. So this is the correct answer for this question. Okay, hope you like or understand the question. Thank you very much.